Let's move our focus trapping logic into its own function. Create a new function called focus trap. We'll give an is active prop that we can use to turn it on and off. And we'll replace the is static condition with that. It's going to need to return a container with its children so we can pass those in. And we're going to render our tab traps automatically before and after the children. We'll update our dependencies. And we'll need to have children as a prop. Can delete the old bottom tab trap. Now we'll add our component in here, wrap our existing sidebar code with our new focus trap components, and delete the old refs to the first and last focusable elements. We'll need a new ref for the container, which we can apply to our containing div. And we're going to get the focusable elements from that container automatically. So if there's no container set, we return an empty array. Otherwise, we query for all the elements inside it. We use a custom CSS selector here, looking for button, anchors with an href, inputs, selects, text area, any element with a tab index, or something that is content editable. And then we'll map these to automatically append to each selector the condition that it doesn't have a pseudo element of disabled or an attribute of disabled, which can happen in forms. The query selector method returns an HTML element list, so we'll wrap it in array.from so that we can filter. We'll want to filter out the top tab trap and the bottom tab trap. That way we don't assign focus to those. Now we'll add a console log here so we can see what the output of our get focusable elements function is. Now if we jump over to the browser and we tab through a few times and then check the console, we can see we're getting a list here of our menu button followed by five links. So we'll get those elements. And when we're focused on the first tab trap, We'll focus to the last element. And when we're focused on the bottom tab trap, we'll send focus to the first element. Now it works just like before. So we can copy this new focus trap function and paste it in its own file. Remember export default. Then come back to our home page and remember to import it. It still works. We can still trap focus both ways. So to recap, we made a focus trap component with an is active prop that we can turn on and off based on whether it's static. And this encloses the entire contents of our sidebar. We moved it to its own file. And inside, it renders a top tab trap, followed by the children, followed by the bottom tab trap. Our trap focus function is automatically finding all focusable elements within it based on a CSS selector, and then filters out the tab traps so we don't send focus there. Then if the user is focused on the top tab trap, we send focus to the, uh, to the bottom of the sidebar. And if the user is focused on the bottom tab trap, we send focus to the top of the sidebar.